They call it the hill country, I call it beautiful, I call it progress, and it could be saved. They call it the hill country, I call it home. What we really call it when it's level and made. Shout out to Missoula Slim and the Redbird Listening Room for that opening video sequence here. This is a video tour of some of the best venues and artists that are playing across the Texas Hill Country. So check out this video if you want to understand the music scene of this area. There are 14 different venues featured here, so let's get started. First off with Green Hall, which is one of the most famous venues. Built way back in 1878, and this is Texas's oldest continuously operating dance hall. Green Hall is the epicenter of the little village called Green. It's right next to the grist mill, so folks often go there to get some food, and they go to Green Hall after where they can grab a beer and hang out and see the music that's playing on that day. They have music seven days a week here in the front area or up on the big stage, and I had a great time catching Landry and company playing. Landry and company are a real family affair, and when I was there catching them play, I ran into Catherine and Tim Odom from the Gotta Love Texas Music podcast. It was great to meet them in person as I've been listening to that podcast to help me navigate the music around Texas. So you ought to check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description below where you can find it. I also had a chance to catch Larry Joe Taylor up there on the big stage at Green Hall. A lot of dancers were out there for this show. And he's known for hosting what they call the Chili Fest. This is a big musical festival that happens in Stephenville. Next up, not far from Green Hall, a good place to also check out that often has live music going on is Green Grove. This is a big open space where you can find a fountain and brats for eating. And I was able to catch a really good local band that plays all over the place called Ali Matice Band. Just Next up, still in green and a walk away, is Grapevine. You can go inside here and grab a glass of wine, and then you can go out into the big old open space where they have a bunch of tables there and a stage. And this was a good old time out there underneath all the trees celebrating a Friday with the breeze going and Matt Kirk and the Gooey Fairers playing. What will it be to quarrel? Next up, we're still walking along green, although this time you gotta walk down the road a little bit, and you can find the Green Light Bar. This is right next to Rockin' R, right on the banks of the Guadalupe River. So it's really nice to catch that river, see all the trees, and appreciate that you could uh, dunk your feet into the water right here, or even dunk yourself into the water. And Reckle Refuge was playing when I was there. A little further up the road is a place called Our Lady Bar and Grill. They're really friendly here. I met some folks there at the bar who are kind. And there are a lot of locals here, so this place is less touristy and less transient. A lot of folks here who know each other. And Sean Hart was playing music. Still get butterflies and I look at you. We can do whatever you want to do. Next up is another place that's new to me. It's Hill Country Tap. This got a new Braunfels address and it's an outdoor bar mostly with a bunch of vantage points where you could catch the band playing. And word on the street is that they have a new luxury place coming in Seguin. So I found that Betty Jean and the Chosen were playing on this day. So all the music, like I said, you hear is all these local folks around here and some travel from a long way off and they come to share original music with and this is one of the only places that you're going to find this 
and uh, I appreciate y'all being here. Yeah, it wasn't her leaving, hell, it wasn't even the fact that she was running around. What hurt me the most was she let me fall a rodeo clown. This is David Lee at Screaming Goat in Spring Branch. Screaming Goat has been doing a great job of hosting live music. And this is the singer-songwriter night that happens every Wednesday with David Lee. It's a treat to be up there hanging out with him and all the others. And David Lee has written songs for a bunch of popular artists that you have heard before. Next up is another cool hill country opportunity, Cheatham Street Warehouse, located in San Marcos. This place has got classic vibes. It's got dive bar vibes. It's often big with the college students, although during this time, school is out and there's less college students around, so we got an older crowd. This is one of the best places to see up and coming Texas country music artists, which is consistent with its history because it was one of the early places where Stevie Ray Vaughan played and George Strait and a bunch of other artists that got their start here. In fact, this place is owned by Randy Rogers, and I was able to catch a really good band here called the Hill Country Revival. Next up is Middleton Brewing. This is at the border between San Marcos and Wimberley. And this is another place that's doing a great job of supporting songwriters and the local music. I often go for their open mics that they have on Monday where they have a great group of regulars. And I found an artist from San Antonio there who is really good called Nick Spiker. Nick told me about a place in San Antonio called the Pig Pen, so I had to go out there and check it out. I went on the 2023 San Antonio tribute to Bob Dylan, and this place was packed with people on this night. I could tell it was a cool place that I got to come back to. I got a really strong sense of the songwriter and the folk and Americana kind of scene that they do have in San Antonio, at least that shows up here to Pig Pen on this night. And it was a real treat to hear a bunch of Bob Dylan songs. Now we're back up into the New Braunfels area for Faust Brewing Company. This place is a bit off the beaten path or off off the square downtown area of New Braunfels, kind of tucked away. They got an inside space where you can escape the heat and an outside space with a bunch of room where they can have music out there. It's probably more of a local place than a tourist kind of place. And Alexia was out there playing music on this hot summer day. Also in New Braunfels is the Watering Hole Saloon. This is kind of known as a place for dancing. It is a saloon. It has that big old dance floor. It has a typically older crowd here. And it is a treat to see Gus Clark and the least of his problems playing coming out of Austin. Hey, baby. Next up is a really popular kind of partying late night spot right there in downtown New Braunfels. More touristy or more of a younger crowd, more of a drunken crowd here. I often go there because it's close by and it's consistently a place where you can find live music happening every night of the week. And some really good bands that I caught playing there were the Drew Moreland Band and Soul Sessions. <laughs> Redbird is an intimate venue in New Braunfels featuring big Texas songwriters and beyond like Daryl Scott who I've featured here and who's written a number of songs you heard of. And looking over my uh, footage of the Redbird, I was just reflecting on how great a place it has been for exposing me to new music from Texas artists. So that's a tour for you of the live music venues across the Texas Hill Country. I have more videos about the Texas country music scene and even the Texas Hill Country. So I'll include those in the description and the end screen here so you can check out more. Be sure to click on my YouTube channel and check out the tons of videos I've got on touring around Texas in the music scene here. Hit the subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my posts. Let me know in the comments what else I should check out and thank you for your support.
babe, you're just away. 